Hey guys, how's it going? I want to introduce to you one of the medicinal herbs that I really have been enjoying more of lately, and that is the snake grass, Saba snake grass. The reason I think this shrub uh, is called a grass is because, well, at least in Chinese, I know that we refer to a lot of plants that grow fast uh, as grass if they're not uh, if they're not trees. This is definitely a very fast growing plant. Uh, grows super fast in the summer. It loves the heat. It loves the humidity. Uh, it is native native to Malaysia, so that's you know it's it's very tropical. Um, the reason I'm growing it is for its medicinal benefits. Um, it's not only antimicrobial, antibacterial, but it's also anti venom. Isn't that crazy? I've never heard of anti venom before. Uh, supposedly, well, actually, some you know a couple of people I've met from Malaysia said that they use this uh, directly applying it on their skin if you have like a snake a snake bite or something um, you just mash up a bunch of raw leaves and and put it on the wound this is also anti-cancer is what I you know what research has uh, mentioned um, eating up to 200 leaves raw leaves a day help to fight cancer or or I what I like to do is do uh, preventions for diseases or any kind of illnesses so just for health reasons I like to be able to nibble at uh, you know a few leaves here and there when I'm walking out here um, I eat them raw some people make a tea out of it um, I haven't tried that yet just because I really just enjoy these raw so I'll let you know when I do that the the leaves really don't they're not hard to to you know um, they're not hard to eat at all. They're very, very mild tasting. Mmm. Yeah. It does not taste like an herb. It's more like a vegetable. Super mild. Very thin. Very tender. It's very good. Uh, yeah, so I've been eating this and I was able, I'm able to supply a little bit, you know, to, for my family, my close family and um, my dog Lotus. Um, it's also really helpful for kidney functions and if you have like a problem with urination, like constant urination, I've actually have, a, you know, have a few friends that eaten this and found this to be really helpful, you know, they don't have that urge to go to the bathroom as often, people that go jogging or hiking uh, that have this issue which is eat one or two leaves and one or two leaves and it would help resolve this problem. It's it's crazy. <laughs> this is such an amazing herb so far that I've found. Um, but yeah, hey, you know, don't just take my words for it. Uh, I'm just here to introduce these plants that I'm growing and I'm telling you why I'm growing them. But if you're interested in them, be sure to do your own research and learn more about these, you know. Uh, yeah, but this seems to be doing so well under the shade here. It really doesn't like direct sun. I used to put it uh, a little bit more shade, but it still was getting like a good three hours or so of um, afternoon sun. And so the leaves were kind of stressing out a bit, even though it was growing pretty fast, but it turned yellow pretty fast. It was burning up a bit. So I moved it here to where it just gets like one hour or two hours of really late afternoon almost like evening light and it loves it here it's also under the banana so the banana leaves are so widespread that it is creating this beautiful canopy for this so it's growing it's gotten a lot taller it's the leaves are gotten a lot bigger i'm also pumping it up with a lot of uh, a lot of nutrients, seaweed extract, um, then C90, you know, sea salt, um, worm castings, rock dust, really getting this going so I can have more, uh, more of this to eat. This is, uh, it's probably because of the humidity issue we have here in SoCal is so dry. A lot of the leaves I'm finding uh, would start to kind of get a little bit burned on the tips, which is very common for uh, even some of my my uh, Asian herbs, the tips are kind of has a little bit of burn on them. But it's okay. That's not a big deal. Um, as long as the, the plant overall is healthy, the the leaves don't last all that long. They'll start to kind of turn yellow or more pale like this, and then it'll drop. 
Um, so yeah, don't g let it go to waste. I definitely would just try to pick the green ones and eat them, you know, when they're available. Uh, I'm obviously going to be, pr I, I protect it in the winter. I would put it either in a greenhouse or in inside, I indoor in the house. I'm going to be propagating more so uh, of them so that I could just leave one pot outside and hopefully to slowly just see what happens, you know, hopefully I can get it acclimated to our weather here more. Um, otherwise you can very easily pro propagate it to bring it indoor in the winter. Uh, what you do is you just snip th these, um, what do you call it, the, the branches snap off really easily, just like that. So you can just put it in a vase and let it root and you have a whole new plant. It's, it's so easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, I have some of these, you know, available. If any of you guys are interested, I have it up on my website. Um, I'll leave the information below for you. Uh, but this is definitely one of my favorite herbs to eat right now. It is so easy on the mouth, you know. It's not pungent. It's not strong or anything so it's really nice in the salad also the soil in here is full of worm castings compost uh, those are actually the two main uh, nutrient supplies here and then I would add a little bit of rock dust in there at times and um, and seaweed extract and a little bit of sea salt all that other good stuff for the trace minerals but that is it. It's pretty easy to grow, just needs to be protected from direct sunlight and the cold. <laughs> Saba snake grass. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you have not subscribed to this channel and enjoy videos like this about medicinal herbs and plants, please subscribe to this channel. I would love for you to and to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so that you'd be notified when new videos are out. And um, you can also follow me on Facebook or Instagram and other social media for more current news of my life and things growing in the garden. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Help me spread the words about health and help my channel grow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.